long time since I have made a separate video for a custom ROM flashing guide on the Redmi K20 Pro and a lot of you guys have been asking me that how to actually flash a Android 12 L based custom ROM on Redmi K20 Pro. So today in this video I'm gonna show you how can you actually clean flash a Android 12 L custom ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro so stay tuned until the end and let me tell you if you are coming from MIUI you have to format data once but if you are going back to MIUI or something like if you want to move back from a custom ROM to MIUI yes you can do that too but for that you have to watch a separate video which I have already made previously and I'll link that below in the description so watch the first part or something of that video you will get to know how can you clean flash MIUI from custom ROM but during this video I'm gonna show you how can you actually switch custom ROMs right now let me just jump into the about section of this ROM so this is the Cherry OS I'm on right now I have already made a separate video for this and if you want a review of this particular ROM you can check out the card or the description and here this is the 5th May 2022 build of the Cherry OS version 3.7 but today I'm gonna be switching to the latest Evolution X ROM which is the 13th May 2022 build but of course with this particular method you can switch to any other Android 12 L ROM or any other ROM particularly that you want to switch to so right now let me show you which files do you actually need so first of all you will be needing a firmware file and this is the firmware file of course you will get it from the description box below this is the Rafael in firmware for Indian devices but if your device is global or something make sure you download the latest one from that particular website and this particular firmware size is about 99 MB so you will need this particular firmware if you are flashing a ROM of course, if you're coming from MIUI, you do not need that, but this is a good habit to actually flash the firmware before flashing a ROM so that you don't face any other issues. So that firmware file and we need the ROM file. So this is the Evolution X ROM file that we need. And of course, as my storage is decrypted, that's why I'm gonna be flashing this disable DM Verity Force Encrypt. So this is the Fcrypt Disabler, the newer Fcrypt Disabler you may call. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna use today in this video. But of course, while switching to a custom ROM, or while you are switching from a different custom ROM which you are already on, you might be asking if you will lose your data. Well, it depends on a lot of aspects. If your storage is decrypted, most probably you will not be losing any data at all. But here, if you want to back up your apps and back up the whole thing, as I do it, I just go into the system, then I go into this backup section, and from here, I just click on backup now. And once that backup is done, you can just flash a new ROM. Then you can just like restore your old backup. But today in this video, I'm going to also show you how can you restore your backup from a particular device to this device. So stay tuned for everything. But right now, of course, I'm going to reboot to recovery. So let's just click on advanced then recovery. So this is the latest orange box recovery that I'm going to use. This is the version R11.1 underscore 4 and that is the latest stable version of orange box recovery for redmi k20 pro and here i'm just going home and just going to the download folder and right here i will have to select the files but before that we have to wipe the things so that's why i'm selecting this wipe section then i'm gonna wipe dalvik cache system vendor and data now here if you're coming from ui or any other miui based roms like xiaomi.eu or something Make sure you just click on this format data and you type yes and you format the data. Afterwards, you reboot your recovery once. You have to do that if you're coming from any MIUI based ROM. Now here, I'm just going to wipe again and just gonna select all those things. These five things, Dalvik, Cache, System, Vendor and Data. Right now, I'm gonna swipe to wipe as usual. Then I'm just going home then to the files and over here we have the firmware and right here I'm gonna select the firmware file first and I already have reboot after installation is complete selected then we have the unmount system before installing zip selected and here I'm gonna just click on add to queue and I'm gonna select the evolution X ROM and over here add to queue again and here disable DM Verity F script now let me tell you that I just selected the ROM because the ROM already includes the G apps and I'm not gonna root that's why I'm not selecting magisk but if you want to root and if you need a G app separately, you have to flash those separately. Keep that in mind. And here I'm just going to swipe to install and wait for the time being. So as this is being flashed, I'm going to just bring my other device from which I'm going to restore the backup. And of course, I have a custom ROM in this device too. But of course, you can switch from a stock ROM too. And here, this is the Redmi Note 7 Pro I have over here. And you will also need a type C cable and even if it's like one-sided USB-A, you can just plug in this kind of adapter to USB-A to USB-C 
and with that adapter and you can actually use this particular cable by just plugging in this adapter so right now it's almost time that it's rebooting to the ui it shows successful and it's rebooting So we have successfully booted into the ROM and here it shows the setup wizard. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get started, like click on get started, then skip this because I don't have a SIM card in the device right now and connect to Wi-Fi. So this is where you actually need to backup stuff and here it shows copy app and data. And if you click next, it will show this cable option. So I'm going to do this. But if you are going to like restore your backup from your email ID, that system backup that I showed you already, if you're going to use that, you have to like select this can't use old device from right here, then you can restore that email ID backup. You have to enter your email ID and password of course for that. But here I'm going to use this cable backup. That's why you just plug in this like the normal USB-C port to the old device just like this, like from which you want to restore the backup and then the OTG side you have to insert on the new device. So from here, I'm just not clicking on next over here, just plugging in this. And here, as you can see, it's automatically restoring the backup over here and I have to enter the fingerprint over there. So let me actually show you, it shows the copy data to your new device on the like other device and I have to click on copy and I'll tap the Fingbit scanner once. And as you can see, it shows copying your accounts. So right now I have to choose what I need to copy or what I want to copy. So if you are gonna select some specific apps, you can just click here and like uncheck some particular apps if you don't want to install those. But I will of course install all of these. So that's why I just leave it like this and click on copy. And right now it shows copying your data. And you have to accept this Google terms and stuff. And right now it's time to set up the Fingbit scanner on this particular new device or new ROM, I would say. Let's just click on start. One finger is done. Let's try another one. So I have added both of the fingerprints or thumbs and right now I'm going to click next and let's continue. By the way, if you're noticing the data is still copying over here. So it will actually show you that part like how much it has copied later on once you're done with the setup process. So I'm just going to click on no thanks for the always on display as of right now. So in this part, if you're noticing it actually like shows a estimated time how much time it will take to actually copy all the stuff. So we have to wait about eight minutes over here it shows. So we have to just leave the devices like this. So now it shows your phone is almost ready and it shows all the backups that it has restored and we can just click on done and here it shows copying done on the other device too. So I'm just gonna click on done over here and then I'm going to click close and of course now you can remove the cable if you want from both of the devices and it asks if you want to use a swipe to navigate your phone and of course I'm going to use that but I'm going to skip the tutorial of it I'm just going to go to home and this is how the home screen looks like of course it looks beautiful and if you're looking at the like complete setup kind of notification it is actually restoring all the apps from that particular backup which I just restored from the other device. So that's just great and here let me actually show you the settings panel and this is how the evolution settings panel looks like of course and let me just disable the dark theme and here is the about section we have successfully flashed the latest evolution x rom based on android 12 l and of course this is the 12th may 2022 build snow version 2 6.3.1 of course. And I have made a separate review of the Evolution X ROM 2, but not this particular build, the previous build of this one. So you can watch that from the description or the cards. And finally, we are getting the white quick setting panel in the light theme in Evolution X ROM. And I really, really have to appreciate this step. It was always dark, even in the light theme, the, like the quick setting panel and stuff on the Evolution X ROM. But this is what I love. In the light theme, it should show actually this light or the white option. And yes, this is what I definitely like. In the dark theme, of course, it has the dark tint. This is how it looks, of course. But in the light theme, it looks fabulous, I would say. As you can see, it just looks dope. So yeah, I definitely love it. 
So this is how you actually flash a custom ROM in a clean way on the Redmi K20 Pro. And if you want to flash any other custom ROM like the Dark Faced or the Cherry Swiss or whatever ROM that you want to flash, you can flash it with this particular method, which I just showed you in this particular video. So if this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends if you feel like. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.